Salutations, Allison. I'm here, aka Wayless. Today I'm going to cross country on my uncle horse onesie. Uh, it's going to be one of our first times going to the venue. It's at Marina Mayer's Equestrian Estate. One of the most exciting things about it is that there is a water jump, or it's a dam basically, and it's going to be the first time taking onesie into a water complex. He's been through water before, obviously walking through puddles and stuff, but he's never had to ride through it or do any jumps around it and stuff like that so i'm very interested to see how he reacts to it i have a feeling that he's not gonna like it too much because when i do try to walk him through puddles he's kind of like iffy about it however they are very small so he kind of his brain says i don't need to really walk through it i can walk around it usually the bigger puddles he's pretty chilled with but yeah we will see ray is coming with as well again you guys saw her in the last video this is going to be her first time doing cross country on her mare one of the things that i am probably going to work on today most with onesie is trying to get him confident with the cross country fences he's pretty confident in general but it's going to be a new venue and new jumps and things he's never seen before but i'm also really trying to improve his jump shape but i don't really think we can do much work on that today and then also trying to build my confidence up a bit because my other horse and I did really badly across country. Hopefully this is successful and fun and interesting. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as you guys enjoyed my Tumei clinic. Um, so I'm gonna have some breakfast and then go down to the stables, clean my horse because it's uh, turning into, well it is spring here now. So they're losing all of their winter coats and there's just hair flying everywhere and Half of the horse has got this beautiful shiny coat and the other half is like this long fluffy raggy coat. So I'm going to go and brush him and make sure he's all good and check everything. And then we will head in the horse box and go to the venue. So I'll see you guys at the stables. Morning Tupa. Good morning. Good morning. Cross country day buddy. Hi doll. Hey, sweet boy. Say hello. Do you want a treat? Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah. Adventure time again. Smile. Smile. Give us a nice smile. Smile. <laughs> So when we got to the venue, we just did a short warm-up to show our horses' paces and also get them warmed up to choose jumping. We were doing quite a low class, but it was all with horses who haven't got much experience doing cross-country. Also, three chestnuts, the chestnut musketeers. So I just popped him over a little cross there. He wasn't really too bothered about being at a new venue. He didn't really change his temperament much. He was just very chilled. Both of our horses kind of just tanked into the fences and did such strange things with their hind legs. <laughs> so now the corner has been raised up a little bit and we started to kind of add the fences together and make a little bit of a course. Yeah, we were walking them through this little like bank indented area just getting them used to 
the sensation of going up and down terrain. We went up first so that it was obviously easier for them because it's going away from the dam. Once he wasn't too bothered about the terrain, but as you can see here, when I came to do that little fence, he ran out because he's very skeptical of the water. He's never seen a water jump before. And I'm riding very terribly here. I don't know what I was doing. The third time we went over, he eventually went over it and he also went through the water, which I was extremely happy with, giving him a big pat there. Ray's horse just did it like a dream. She absolutely loves the water. Having a bit of trouble there in the terrain with him tripping. So this next time I come past the fence, I make sure I'm extremely balanced and sit up after the fence and he jumps it so well. Marina was really happy as you can see. We ended off by doing this little bank thing. There were many more fences for us to do, but we didn't have enough time. So after this, it's my entire round. Hey guys, it's me again. I finished with the cross country. He was really good. He was just very uncomplicated. Didn't really have too many issues with any of the jumps except for there was a black kind of like water, upside down water trough thing. He didn't like that at all because it was going into the water and I think I hyped up him having water problems earlier on when I mentioned it. So I rode really badly unfortunately to that fence and he did run out and then i think the second time we approached he had like a little bit of a moment and then the third time he popped it really nicely i kind of got unseated a little bit we didn't get to do all of the cross country fences because we only had a limited amount of time but we are planning on going back to that venue again uh, maybe sometime next month it's very much dependent on <laughs> sorry my cat <laughs> it's very much dependent on all of the other show events that are up and coming um there's quite a few which i'm extremely excited to take him to i'll try and do some videos of that too because it's a little bit more interesting with a bit more content to kind of put together unfortunately with these smaller days there's not really much videoing going on 
but i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as you enjoyed the other one if you did let me know in a comment maybe you can like or even subscribe because i am going to be doing more videos i have another video in the works from my flat work boot camp thing that i did although um i haven't uploaded it yet because i've been very busy and i thought i'd upload this one first because it's probably a little bit more interesting than me just trotting around on my horses trying to get them to work in a frame but anyways thank you so much for watching if you got this far i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one cheers